like to talk on the Cyber Futures Project uh, Mark to give us an update in the work of the CRC and see how we can help support uh, increasing the membership uh, and then if Martin joins us uh, he kindly agreed to give us a brief update on the uh, SASIG and the Cyber Skills Festival which is uh, happening next week so um, so Mike uh, over to you. Thank you very much Robin uh, and it's nice to be back um... I hope you're not too scared by the fact I've got 11 slides. There's, there's not much talking to each of them, I promise. So what I wanted to do is to, to introduce the, the Southwest Cyber Futures Programme, uh, run through some of the details and what we're trying to achieve with the objectives, then dive a little bit deeper into um, the details of who is delivering what within the course of the programme, run through the schedule, and then finally I've got uh, some calls to action for our uh, Southwest Cyber Community because we've still got some workshops that need to be picked up. So um, the overall objectives for this program is that we are able to uh, develop a mechanism to build a cyber skills pipeline, okay? Everyone is always thinking about finding talent. Uh, the talent's not out there, we've got to grow our own. We've got to do a lot more to support our FE College partners uh, in engaging with, with you guys, in the, uh, particularly in local business communities. Uh, perhaps most importantly, you know, the students are our customers in this. Uh, we've got to help them to develop the skills they need and accelerate those skills. Right. So we want 18 year olds to be um, of the same value as a graduate. Right. By the time they're 18, that's the ideal scenario is that you're able to pick up a degree apprentice at the age of 18 who's ready to go, who's going to add value to a business, but he's going to perhaps cost half the value of a graduate, thereby accelerating that talent pipeline by three years. We also expect that students will go to university if they so desire. Okay. Um, so this programme is funded by the DCMS, uh, by our UKC3, uh, and uh, the cyber cluster put in that bid um, sort of early in the summer. We got the funding late in the summer, um, and the funding allows for the programme to be coordinated by the Southwest Cybersecurity Cluster and TechEd. It's my business. Um, this is a pilot programme. So this is for a single year. This is to, put, to support a single year group of students. OK. Um, and we'll, we'll move on to what the objectives of this are. But in essence, the programme is supported by the SME community uh, and the Southwest Cybersecurity Cluster community, okay, of which there's a lot of crossover and uh, there, are, there are some complementary uh, players involved as well. So a little bit more specifically, in terms of the outcomes, what we're looking to achieve this year. So we want to make sure that we are supporting uh, South Devon College, which is the, uh, the college that has uh, agreed to run this pilot in becoming a cyber first gold school. Okay. Um, this is gonna look great for them. They're gonna be in a, a really strong position to support this as an extracurricular program moving forward in future years, if the pilot is deemed to be worthy of, of continuing with. Um, we wanna make sure that the college is recognized for tangible skills development by getting in the top 100 on the Immersive Labs Digital Academy. Um, <clears throat> And if at all possible, we want to make sure that of the, the students that we're working with, 90% of them want to join the world of cybersecurity. They could be joining any IT related profession. Uh, games development is popular. Uh, programming is popular. Uh, but actually, we've got a lot of hard work to do to make sure that they consider cybersecurity be, security to be most exciting, most challenging, most rewarding most purposeful career that they might aspire to. So this is the aim of this, this first year, is to really bed that in as an aspiration, if possible. We want to make sure that the quality of the workshops being delivered by industry uh, is of a suitably high level. Uh, so, you know, we work on a, a general net promoter score basis. If it's eight or more out of 10, we think we're doing a very good job. If it's 10 out of 10, we've got a natural presenter from industry uh, who knows how to build an instant rapport with students. Um, most of us don't have that natural ability and particularly doing this over a, over a team session, it's, uh, it's not possible. But eight out of 10 is quite achievable. 
uh, I'll drill down into what we've already delivered uh, a bit later. Um, ultimately, you know, the outcome of this year is that <clears throat> we can demonstrate to the DCMS that this is a viable way of developing cyber skills in the UK. Um, you know, they support a number of programs, Cyber First being the biggest one. Um, they do um, a lot of piloting. They, they're just uh, launching a three million pound pilot for a digital platform. Uh, but what we want to do is to demonstrate that the clusters can be of uh, tangible use in serving this purpose. Um, with this cyber cluster being you know, that, that pilot that proves that it can be done. So as soon as we got the funding in place, uh, worked with Robin and Jeff to identify uh, a few partners that might want to support us. This is the lineup that we have so far, the top line of optimizing IT, PGI, core tech and uh, lineal being those partners that are committed to supporting us, uh, at least in the autumn term. Uh, Talis and Fujitsu that support some other cyber programs I've been working on have offered to take slots if we need them. Uh, obviously, Robin and Jeff have, uh, have each offered to, to run one under their company banners, and the NCSC uh, has kindly offered to run one or two workshops over the summer. Um, in terms of what the kids are doing, they are undertaking a weekly workshop um, lasting an hour and a half. And each workshop is delivered by industry. Um, the workshops are based upon a curriculum of content from within the Immersive Labs digital platform for students. Uh, it's highly gamified, so it's pretty competitive. So kids can compete against each other and they can compete against other colleges and universities. Um, and again, you know, the goal is they get into the top 100 globally out of 8,000 institutions. Right. This is where we want them to be. This is what success looks like and how we can demonstrate that they are developing and accelerating skills. I'm very pleased to say that in their first three weeks, they are ranked number 263, which is uh, no mean feat, considering we're working with a, quite a small cohort of students, 31 students, right? which, by the way, is much bigger than we committed to. We, we committed to supporting 20 students. Right, so already we're way above that. South Devon College have, have done a lot of work to uh, pull together two classes of students to all be together at the same time uh, to take advantage of these workshops. Uh, they've got, they've dedicated a trainer to this, who's a relatively young trainer. I've already done some training with him. Uh, they've got uh, various uh, IT and computing teachers that all attend these workshops because for them, this is great CPD, right? For the teaching staff, this is, this is having a tremendous impact already on the college. Um, and the senior leadership is wholly bought in and have bent over backwards to make this all happen at very, very short notice. And I think this, this ranking is evidence of that commitment that they've made literally in the last um, five weeks, right? So their commitment came on after they launched their academic year. Uh, done a tremendous job there so uh, I'm very proud of these students this is this is ridiculously good by the way we've never seen this okay so this is the best program ever that's been run in this format in terms of results um, this is what the autumn term lineup looks like so I kicked off the program on the 15th of September sorry if that's a little bit small guys let's see if, if I put it into present mode it might pop up a bit bigger um, so I kicked it off on the 15th. Uh, Protection Group International then took on the next two workshops. So they're in the Director of Cyber Operations globally, uh, took on the second workshop and she presented from Australia when it, where it was midnight, I think. Uh, so it's quite committed. And then she brought in one of her experts um, to talk through uh, various aspects of you know, how do you make the workplace safe? Uh, so touched on various uh, topics. This week had uh, a serious hacker from Cortec, uh, who's, who's a young guy uh, who does a lot of offensive testing, um, who's kicked off the first Linux 
uh, workshop. Uh, it was an incredibly engaging session and he's given the kids lots of homework, right? So at present, if we've got 30, 30 odd students, they've scored an average of 500 points on immersive labs based upon the labs that the, the scores that have been completed. He's given them about 2000 points worth of homework to do. So we'll see how far, how high up we shoot up the ranking there. And he's due to, to come back and revisit Linux next week. Um, Lineal and optimizing IT are both lined up. I've delivered the training for them. Um, they have all of their invites and they're ready to go. So we are covered up until the 17th of November, okay? Which is, actually it's quite a long uh, planning horizon um, for this type of program where you've got lots of people supporting it. We're still looking in the autumn term for a partner to, to own to uh, encoding and encryption workshops. So I'm looking for keen eyes that light up and think, oh my word, that's just up my street. That's exactly what I want to do. There's only a couple of you with cameras turned on. So um, if, if that stands out to you, or if you have a friend in your business that you think can take that on, just pop down your details in the chat, okay? I'm gonna pop up my email address later on as well. This is what the autumn term looks like. OK. The spring term, sorry, hang on, I clicked over. The spring term, uh, Lineal, uh, Lineal are coming back for the final one. Uh, Securius have uh, stepped up to take three workshops and we've got six outstanding workshops in the spring term. One, one moment, cheers, mate. Thanks, Martin. So, I've got another six workshops that we're looking for partners to support. Okay, so this is a call to action. Um, I would prefer that all of these workshops are delivered by the SME community in the Southwest. Okay, the contingency plan is if we are unable to find local SME support, that um, I shall I shall find someone. Okay. So I'm quite comfortable with doing, but um, the the reason that uh, Robin and Jeff invited me on today is we want to we want to uh, fill up these workshops with local talent supporting local students. Okay, what I'm going to do is flick straight onto the summer term, where I have uh, put in a number of alongside Bar Associates and CrowdThink and Lineal, right? All of these guys have offered to take these slots unless I can find other local SMEs. So for those of you that are counting, Lineal are doing about six, okay? Uh, and these are all being delivered by a cybersecurity degree apprentice who's fairly young, he's about, he's about 22, very, very keen. You know, he's been in this business um, for four years now, uh, since he left college. Um, we have friends at Rolls-Royce, Fujitsu and Talis who will all be happy to step in. And on one hand, this gives it a little bit of gravitas because the kids recognize these brands. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I would be just as happy, even happier to replace them with our local SME community. OK, so I'm going to stop there. OK, but this is where we are at present. It's gone far. It's gone far better. Uh, than I thought it would, considering the timeline that we had from the, the date of funding approval to the date of launch. I think we were a little bit worried for a minute, but uh, actually it's, it's all come through incredibly well. Um, and the goal is to make sure that these other workshops are filled up by, by local SME members so that the DCM, DCMS can be incredibly impressed with uh, uh, how the cyber clusters members are galvanizing to support the next generation of talent. Uh, I'm quite happy to flick back through these slides if people want to ask me any questions. Um, but ideally, we're looking for four partners. And if anybody fancies running a, a CTF for 30 students, we have a wonderful opportunity for that as well.